Google has just released another core feature, which it is now calling AI Max. Now the functionality of AI Max has been sort of teased out for the last about six months. Initially, it was gonna be called Search Max. Now Google has officially made that announcement. We're gonna be going through and discussing this announcement, but more importantly, I really wanna focus on how it affects you and your business, because with all of these announcements, you can get all the information from Google Ads website, I'll put the link to the announcement below. But what I really want to focus on is that what are the impacts for your business or your client's business and should you be changing anything or what you need to change inside of your Google Ads account. Now, like any announcement that comes out, there's those that are claiming that this is the Google Ads Armageddon and Google Ads has finally got what it's always wanted in where it's going to have keywordless targeting and it takes control of the full ad copy. And then there's others who are just saying it's no real big deal at all, nothing to see here. Like in most cases, the truth is actually in the middle somewhere. What I do really, really wanna really highlight right at the start of this video is that when it comes to AI Max, for my opinion, this is something you don't need to be alarmed about. And the main reason for that is that this is an opt-in option. So if you don't wanna use AI Max, when it first rolls out, just simply opt out of it and it won't affect your account. That then means that you can test it when you're ready. I'm gonna go through some options of how I think you should be testing this in a safe way in your account. And also as well, remembering you don't need to opt in immediately. If you wanna just wait it out for the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, see some other data and before you make your final decision. But the big thing is, is that I don't want you to miss the bigger story here. Changes like this are gonna be coming faster and faster inside of the Google Ads dashboard. And this is on the back of, you know, really, really significant changes over the last two years. I want you to remember why this is happening. And the reason for why this is happening is because the way that people are interacting with search is changing really, really fast. I want you to think about your own search history. You know, when you're looking for some information for things now, are you going straight to Google or are you using some of these other tools like ChatGPT or Perplexity or DeepSeek or, you know, whatever ones are out when you're watching this video. On top of that, the way that we interact with Google search is about to change over the coming weeks and months. And it may even be live when you're watching this video is that Google is going to be releasing Gemini 2.0 which is gonna become more of a conversational search inside of Google search. And all of these changes, what they're meaning is that there's gonna be less and less ad placements inside of your search terms. So when you've got less placements, same number of advertisers, what's gonna happen? It's gonna increase your CPC. So this is why for every business owner and every Google Ads specialist, I'm recommending that you don't turn a blind eye to these new features that are coming out because you will need to use them and you will need to be using a collection of all these different types of campaigns. Now, if you want to stay up to date because I'll be rolling out updates as fast as possible inside of my Google Ads channel, make sure you subscribe and keep that notification bell on so you know whenever I release a new video. All right, now let's get to the first thing of what is AI Max and how does it actually operate and what's happening here. You may have heard some people say that AI Max is you know, the birth of keywordless targeting in that you're not adding in keywords anymore, whereas Google is targeting the URL. This is nothing new. This is actually what Google has been doing through dynamic search ads. And dynamic search ads in different variations have been around for a long time, where effectively you put in the website and Google does the targeting for you. Now, it's a lot more advanced than what it was when it first launched, but this first launched in 2011. It's nothing new in terms of that functionality. Dynamic search ads have been a really, really popular campaign type or you know, a targeting type. So what the situation is there is that essentially with AI Max, when you do turn this on, if you do decide to turn this on, you won't actually enter in keywords to target. You'll just give the URL and Google will target via the URL. Now, the good news is you can still add in some refinements around negative keywords at either the account campaign or ad group level. Google has confirmed that if you are using AI Max, you can still use negative keywords. So it can be a great tool in order to find new potential keyword themes that you're not currently targeting. So one of my core recommendations would be that if you do wanna test AI Max and you've got some really high performing search campaigns or ad groups, what I would do is I would set up a new search campaign and use AI Max in that new campaign. Now, what I would also do so you can get a really good test because you don't want AI Max sort of sabotaging your current high performing search themes with your high performing or high converting keywords, I would add them as negative keywords for this new campaign around that is using AI Max. What you're then allowing the account to do is that you're basically breaking your search campaigns into the search campaigns, which are your, your tried and tested keywords that you know convert, but then you're using AI Max to see if you can find some new search themes or new search keywords that you're not currently targeting. 
It's really, really important to note, as of last year, and I think this number would have skyrocketed, Google usually gives this data out when it comes to its annual conference every year. Where last year at Google Marketing Live, 15% of all new search terms were new search terms in that they'd never been searched before. And then that search terms of over five words was growing by 150%. Now I expect those numbers to skyrocket. So what you can do with AI Max is you can use it as kind of like a prospecting, finding new keywords that convert, which you can then add into your bottom of the funnel search campaign. So that's a great strategy that you can use. What I've also done, because of AI Max coming in and there's been a whole heap of other changes inside of Google Ads, I have actually updated my Google Ads optimization checklist. And if you wanna get access to my latest version of my optimization checklist, make sure you follow that link in the description so you can see how I'm optimizing Google Ads accounts now with the addition of AI Max. All right, so the first thing to know about AI Max is that what it essentially does is that you're not adding in keyword targeting. That's why you're hearing this whole keywordless targeting. But remember, you're adding in the target by your landing pages or your URL. So it is really important to make sure that you've got really relevant content on your landing pages, which you should have anyway, but it's a good reminder. The next part of AI Max is that you can actually expand that out so that it actually also writes your ads. Now, this isn't new. This is essentially the functionality of automatically created assets, which was released at the end of 2023. But Google is expanding this out further. In a dynamic search campaign, it would automatically create the headlines. AO Max is gonna you know, create the headlines and the descriptions, taking that information from your landing page and also from different keywords that are targeting and different converting keywords. Now, while this could be really, really powerful for your business, there is a word of warning here, and that's if that if you are a business that has really tight regulation controls around your ad copy, and even around the keywords that you can target, I would not be using AI Max for that reason, because you are giving control over to Google to write your ads and also to really go after certain levels of keywords. So if you are an industry which has high regulation, I would avoid AI Max, especially for the time being. And I'd also avoid AI Max if you're a business that has a really, really specific niche. So you might be in a super, super specific niche that offers a premium price point. So there might be a high volume, but of that high volume, you know, you've only got like a really, really certain percentage of keywords, which you know would target. And if you've got all that data already and you don't get a lot of conversions, but you get say maybe 10 conversions a month, but they're really super, super high value. You. Once again, in that situation, AI Max is probably not for you. But for most businesses, I think that good strategy of AI Max of breaking it into separate campaigns is a great strategy to start testing AI Max for your business. Now, the final thing that is coming with AI Max is it is combined with another update, which is all about extra reporting inside of Performance Max campaigns. And what they're actually releasing is at the asset level, and this will be not only inside of Performance Max campaigns, but also inside of responsive search ads and now any ads that have AI Max working on them, is that you'll actually get to see the data at the asset level. So previously, Google would just give you data around which was good, which was bad, which is best. Where now you're actually getting the click-through ratio, the conversion data, the ROAS scores, the cost per click, all of that data at the asset level and it's also gonna be reporting on automatically created headlines or automatically created assets. So what I'm gonna do, because I've, I've got another video coming out very, very soon about those changes inside of Performance Max, which includes this asset level reporting. At the end of this video, I will put a marker up where you can see that video when it comes live. It's not live yet, it'll be live in a couple of days. But before I finish, I just wanna give you a reminder that remember with all of these changes that is you know happening with AI Max and also with Performance Max, and I'm very, very sure there'll be more changes coming. It's really, really easy to get get really worried or overawed about all this. But the main thing I want you to remember, as I said at the start of the video, the reason for why these changes are happening is because there is so much change happening within the way that people are searching. So what I recommend is just slowly roll out into these changes. Don't go blowing up your account and changing absolutely everything. Like I said, give AI Max a test, but if you are gonna give it a test, put it in a separate campaign so you're not ruining your current performance of those campaigns you've worked hard on building up, for some cases, many, many years. Thank you for joining me. As a reminder, if you wanna get access to my latest Google Ads optimization checklist, follow that link in the description below. If you also wanna see the strategy that we're using with different campaign types and how we're putting them all together, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. And once it goes live, may not be live yet, you can go through it and watch this video about the latest changes to Performance Max, which include that asset level reporting. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.